Good day, this is the Professor, C.B. M.D. Ph.D. And today is Friday, May 26, 2023. It is 12.42 and 17 seconds, a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And today's research, apoptosis. So let's come to it here. Under control to the very end, how our cells kill themselves. Date, May 22nd, 2023. Sorts. University of Basel. Every day, millions of cells die in our body. Other than generally assumed, cells do not simply burst at the end of their lives, but rather, a specific protein serves as a breaking point for cell membrane rupture. Researchers have now been able to elucidate the exact mechanism at the atomic level. As cell death is crucial for all organisms, damaged cells are cells infected with viruses or bacteria, eliminate themselves by starting a built-in suicide program, which prevents the development of tumors and the spread of pathogens in the body. Until recently, it was assumed that cells simply burst and die at the end of their life. Now researchers provided new insights into the final step of cell death in the scientific journal of nature. They describe how a protein called Ningerin-1 assembles into filaments that work like a zipper and open the cell membrane, thus leading to the disintegration of the cell. The new insights are an important milestone in the understanding of cell death. Various signals such as bacterial components trigger the cell machinery at the final stage of this process. The cell's protective membrane is comprised by tiny pores, which allow ions to stream into the cell. The common understanding was that the cell then swells until it finally bursts due to increasing osmotic pressure. We are now revolving how the cells really rupture instead of bursting like a balloon. The protein ninja in one provides a breaking point in the cell membrane, causing rupture at specific sites. Using advanced techniques such as highly sensitive microscopes and NMR spectroscopy, the scientists have been able to elucidate the mechanism by which Ningerin-1 induces membrane rupture at the level of individual atoms. Ningerin-1 is a small protein embedded in the cell membrane. Upon receiving the suicide command, two Ningerin-1 proteins initially cluster together and drive a wedge into the membrane. Large lesions and holes are formed by many further proteins attaching to the initial wedge. In this way, the cell membrane is cleaved open piece by piece until the cell disintegrates completely. The cell debris is then removed by the body's own cleaning surface. It is now evident that the cells do not burst without danger in one. They do smell to a certain extent due to the influx of ions, but membrane's rupture is contingent on the function of this protein. The deeper understanding of cell death will facilitate the search for strong targets. Therapeutic interventions to treat cancer are conceivable since some tumor cells evade programmed cell death. Also, in the case of premature cell death, observe the neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's disease, or in life-threatening conditions, such as septic shock. Drugs that interfere in this process are a potential treatment option. And this is a professor, professor of microbiology, bioinformatics, pathophysiology, and leader of research. This video was created for educational purposes only. Hope you enjoyed listening. Until next time, have a great day.